everybody. Thanks for joining me. My name is Miss AJ and this is the Art Nook. Kitty Quest Children's Museum. Love of learning starts here. Today we're going to experiment using some string to do a little bit of art. What I need you to gather around your house is some yarn or string. Doesn't really matter whatever you have lying around. I just happen to have some yarn. It's white. It doesn't matter what color it is either. I also grabbed some scissors to cut my string with. I have a tray, as you can see, just to contain some of the mess but I am using it to hold my watercolors that I have in three different colors. And I just used some old recycled yogurt containers that we had around the museum. And I filled mine with three different watercolors, yellow, blue, and red. And those, my friends, are the primary colors. We're gonna try those out today and see what we can use. The other thing I collected were two more different types of paints so we can experiment a little bit. And these are called tempera paints. And I chose a bright red and a bright purple because we're gonna try that on a different type of paper today. I also have with me a rag just so I can wipe my fingers off in case I get any paint on them, as well as an old catalog that I had lying around because I'm gonna use that to press the paint today. The last thing I grabbed and that you're gonna need is some paper. And I have some paper that's a little bit thicker today. It's called card stack, stock. But whatever you guys have lying around your house will work for this as well. So I chose some white as well as some black to see what I can make today. So to start, you're gonna have to cut lengths of your yarn or string and you want them to be about a foot or 12 inches or a little bit longer. So about 12 to 16 inches works very well for this project. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a great, great way to practice your math if you wanna get out a ruler and measure your yarn. So I'm gonna cut enough so that I have one for each of my colors today. And I started a little bit before this video to cut some. So you can see I have enough for one for each of my jars. And what I'm gonna do is just gently drape a piece of yarn in each of my jars so that it will soak up and saturate the yarn with that color. And carefully, I'm gonna leave a little end hanging out down here so that I have something to grab onto when I'm ready to pull it out of the paint. And once I have placed a piece of yarn in each of the containers. I'm gonna grab my paper and I'm gonna start with my white paper today. I'm gonna fold it in half and it doesn't really matter if you fold it horizontally or vertically, whichever you would like for this project. I'm gonna go like that and fold it in half. And then I'm gonna grab my magazine or my catalog because I'm gonna use that again to press down. So I'm gonna open it up kind of towards the middle just to give me a little bit of weight, I'm gonna open back up my paper and place it inside of the magazine. And then I'm gonna take one of my strings that, oh look, because mine are white, they have absorbed or become saturated. They've soaked up all of that paint. I'm gonna carefully lay it just randomly inside of my paper. I'm gonna fold the paper over and push a little bit, but then I'm gonna lay the top or the rest of the pages of the catalog on top of that and push gently. So I'm gonna push and hold with one hand. And as you can see, I left a little tail of the yarn sticking out from the bottom of the catalog. I'm gonna pull that gently and see what happens. And I can keep using this string over and over again. So I'm going to put it back into my yellow. I'm going to open up my catalog to where my page is. And as you can see, I've made a line or some art. 
And what's cool about this art is it not only makes one painting, but it will make two and they will be symmetrical or the same. So I'm gonna put the same piece of paper back into my catalog, but this time I'm gonna pick a different color. I think I'm gonna go with blue. So I'm gonna carefully pick up my blue string. And as you can see, it is completely saturated and that's okay if it drips a little bit because it is all able to be wiped up. I'm doing the same thing I did last time where I folded it over gently. I pushed a little bit. I left the tail hanging out of the bottom of the magazine. I push gently and then I slowly pull my yarn out of the magazine. Put it back into my container so that I can use it again and again and open it up. And as you can see, not only do I have a blue line now, and because I've been using the primary colors, it has now mixed with my yellow to make green. I'm gonna do one more, I think, and I'm gonna use red this time with another color and see what I can make. So again, just as a reminder, folding your paper in half so that you're actually making two pieces of art gently down the middle. Gonna lay it inside of my magazine. Doesn't really matter where. I'm just guessing about halfway. And this time I'm gonna grab my red. And again, look at how saturated and beautiful that yarn is with all that color on it. And I'm just gonna drape it gently onto my paper. Fold my paper in half. And on top of that, my magazine with my little tail hanging out the end at the bottom, I'm going to gently pull and see what I can create. And maybe I'll move it around a little bit this time and see if I can make a different shape or line with the yarn. I'm gonna place it back in there so that I can use it again later. And let's open it up and see what I've created this time. Ooh. What color should we add this time to see if we can make a new color by mixing two of our primary colors today? How about we add blue and see what we come up with? So I'm using the same string over and over again. I'm gonna place it inside of my paper and then gently fold over my catalog and pull. Let's see what colors we come up. What do you think will happen when we put red and blue together? Open it up. Oh, look at that. It almost looks like a feather was made there. And it's hard to tell, but it does look like there's a little bit of blue and purple mixing together blue and red mixing together to make purple. So you guys can experiment by using those primary colors to create all the other colors that we see in the world. All you need are your red, blue, and yellow paints. Next, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna try it with some black paper. So I have some black construction paper. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but this time I'm gonna try it with those tempera paints that I grabbed, just to try and see an experiment and see if it works a little bit differently. And these are a little bit thicker, so your hands might get a little bit messy. You're trying to push the yarn into the paint, but that's okay, that's why we grabbed our red. Again, I'm gonna fold so that I create my two pieces of symmetrical art. I wanna place it into my catalog or magazine, whatever you guys have lying around the house. And I'm actually gonna push my yarn a little bit more into my paint because it didn't quite get as saturated as easily. And I have my rig, so it's okay. I'm just gonna wipe my fingers off, pull it out. And look, it too is coated in that thick tempera paint. And I'm gonna pull my catalog a little bit closer and doing the same exact technique as we did before, placing the string gently onto your paper, folding it in half, leaving a little tail hanging out the end so you have something to pull, and then gently pulling your string out. 
And I'm gonna put that back into my paint so again, I can use it over and over. And I'm gonna open this up and let's see how this worked this time. Oh, look at that. And again, it made two of the same. I wonder what it kind of looks like. What does it look like to you? It almost looks like a bird to me, a bird or a dinosaur with his head up here and his big plate on the top of his head. I'm not quite sure, but I am gonna do the same thing, but with my purple and I'm gonna add it to this and see what I can recreate. Again, I have to stick my finger in there just a little bit to get that paint all over the yarn but I have my regs, so it's okay, regs or paper towel to wipe off your fingers. Again, I've covered the whole thing in that purple paint. Gonna lay it down, fold in half, grab that tail of that yarn and pull. And you guys can experiment with different types of paint and different colors. Whatever you guys have lying around the house is a great way to experiment and try something new. I'm gonna carefully open it up, unfold it, ooh. So as you can see, oh, it kind of looks like a butterfly if I turn it this way. But again, it makes two symmetrical art pieces. So not only are you guys doing art, you're doing a little bit of math too. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me at the Art Nook. I hope you guys have fun experimenting and painting and drawing and doing all sorts of art. Don't forget to tag us on Facebook and Instagram if you guys are creating along with us. We'd love to see what you're doing. Have a great day and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe for more videos and remember to check out our website for additional activities and information.